Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to get on here real quick. This is going to be a very quick live, but I just really wanted to say that thank you guys so much. Thank you for all who have shared. Thank you all for who have donated. Thank you all for who have made an appointment with me. You really make my job so amazing. And I just want to express my gratitude. And just when you express this gratitude, when you realize you're blessed, when you realize you're prosperous, when you realize that you're willing to dig deep, to really just better yourself. And just one th quick thing I wanted to say is that there's always room to better ourselves. There's always room to up our game. There's always room to get better. There's always room to just be who we want to be and channel what we want to channel and just be who we want to become and just don't be afraid of it. Immerse yourself in who you want to be and immerse yourself in the matrix that you want to live in, the world that you create. So guys, and also just, just know that you can send me $20 and have a $20 appointment, you know? Send me $10, you can have a $10 appointment. It doesn't matter. I'm doing it because I know that at some point I will have to raise my prices, but what you have to understand is that I do this because I want to reach people. I want to help people. I want to guide people. I want to express my gratitude that you can live a blessed, prosperous life and that you can do whatever you want to do and that you can always find a way to better yourself, to meditate better. And it's not about being a pro, but it's about being receptive. It's about being a good learner. It's about being a good listener. And it's all just about applying yourself and using the implementation of source. Just implement what source guides you. Implement everything that me and Morningstar have ever said and take what resonates and what doesn't resonate and just, you know, be you. Be your authentic expression. Be Use that courage of authenticity. Because when we're just real, when we just give our heart, when we just really say our truth, it resonates. And when that resonates, when you, when people tap into that resonance, you're opening the door so that they can tap into their true nature. You're opening the door of the spirit to somebody right here, right now. You are changing someone's life right now. So it doesn't have to be what I'm doing. It could be talking to your neighbor. It could be just being you, you know, and just just go and walk and try to change the world. Try to make the world a better place. And that's what we're doing. So with this live, I just wanted to thank all of you. And I express my gratitude and how much love and how much light that I was able to not only share to the world and me and Morningstar are able to share to the world, but we're not done yet. We're just getting started. We're just getting started sh showcasing our light and showcasing our wonder and showcasing who we really are. And I just want you guys to know that just humble yourselves, humble yourselves, because when you humble yourself, you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable. And when we're vulnerable and when we're being led by our heart, we're not being led by ego. We're not being led by the sense of me. We're lead, being led by the sense of we. And when we're being led by the sense of we, this is unity. And when we walk in gratitude, we don't think lack. When we walk in gratitude, we're grateful for what we have because we are living a blessed life. And every time that you're in a tough situation and you see someone else that is more prosperous than you, God bless them in their prosperity. If you see someone that's in a worse situation than you, then we have to examine ourselves. And we always have to better ourselves and we always have to look inside of ourselves. And whatever is not supposed to be there, get rid of it, disintegrate it, and dissolve it. Disintegrate it, dissolve it, and exercise that demon. Because we are here to face ourselves. We're here to face the inner demons. We are here to cleanse ourselves, to purify ourselves, to tap into the God self. We're here to not stay in the time loop that we've been staying in. It's time for higher service. It's time for higher resonance. It's time for the lions to roar. It's time for that deep breath of gratitude. So just always, always express your gratitude in whatever way that you can and always give glory back to God when you do something, when you pay for something, when you just help your daughter, when you help your husband, when you help your girlfriend in any way, shape or form, you for that split moment, you just give it back to God and you say, thank you, God, for doing that.
give glory back to God. Always give glory back to God. It's not a personalized thing. It is God using you as a tool, as the higher self being flooded within your being so that you can speak into people's lives. So just know that we're here to love. We're here to heal. We're here to be sincere. And we're here to show the unconditional love of source. That's what we're really here for. We're here to show unconditional love to source. That's the bottom line here. So I wanted to give a quick live to thank all of you, to thank you for your service. Thank you for your viewership. Thanks for everybody who has left a recommendation on our page because we have a five-star rating now. So thank you. I'm so blessed. I was so ecstatic when that happened today. It was like I, I won the lottery. It was as if I won the lottery. It was more than winning a million dollars. And we have to feel like we are the a million dollars. That we are the wealth. That we are the abundance. That we are the resonance. That's who we are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. I promise you that. Because we're not here to be condemned. We're not here to be guilty. We're not here to feel lack. We're here to feel peace, bliss, abundance, resonance, truth. And the one motto that we can keep within our hearts is loyal, brave, and true. Because we're loyal, we're dedicated to our path, we're dedicated to our truth, we're dedicated to who God created us to be. True is your words of wisdom, is you're true to who you are, and you don't care about what other people think, and you practice non-attachment. Non-attachment is not being attached to people, places, and things because they are temporary. And bravery is seizing opportunities courageously and just being daring to share and daring to speak your truth and daring to be of service and going against everything that you once knew, going against everything that you once knew about your life and following the truth of all that there is, following the truth. You took the red pill in a sense. So in this, in this live feed, I want you guys to feel thankful. I want you to feel thankful for where you're at. I want you to feel thankful for who you are. And Austin May, you are fucking powerful, dude. You are a gifted human being, Austin May. Uh, much love and light to you, sir. Because we are so powerful. We are so loving. We are so prosperous. And we're tapping into a new energy that is unmatched, that is undeniable, that is the indescribable, indestructible, incorruptible nature of being it is the essential nature of being it is the beingness of your soul it is the god source energy it is the energy that illuminates the universe it's the light that brings and sheds a light into the darkness it is truly the thing that unites us it's the things that make us greater and it's the little things that make us great that make us wondrous that make us awesome and if you are not feeling awesome at this time, I'm here to tell you that that's a lie. And if you're going through a tough time, if you don't know what's going on, just know that there's people that love you, that are your soul tribe, and they're waiting for you to tap into who you are. I'm so thankful for the two or three years that I've been doing this. It has changed my life. It has made me fall in love with my life. I fell in love with the love of my life. And I have a cat who loves me, a dog who loves me. I have God that loves me. And he loved me so much that he not only gave me a second chance, but he gave me a third chance. God is giving out chances. Every day that you wake up in the morning, it's a shot at redemption. It is a shot at redemption. Every time that you wake up in the morning, we are not only getting three chances, but we're getting four chances, five chances, six chances. No matter how many times that you keep trying, keep trying, keep pushing, keep persevering, and always never give up on yourself because you know who's going to be with you until the day that you die is you. That's who's really going to be with you. And when that, when, when you die, 
you will experience a whole nother being or you go up into the Christ consciousness. So just get this one thing and I'll close with this. That when we are thankful, when we don't have envy, when we don't have ego, when we only have light within ourselves and we have love and compassion and truth within our being, that is when we change nations. That is when we're kicking down doors. That is when we're truly tapped into our resonance, when we're truly tapped in to who we are as a soul. That's when we're really at the point where we can, we can always just get better. Just know that you're always getting better, that you're always changing, that you're always migrating into becoming the creator being within. It's not that you are on the top of your game. It's not that you're a pro at this. It's not that you're better than anyone, but it's just you getting better and getting through each stage and getting through each resonance and getting through each download and through each moment of healing. And as you're getting through all of that, and integrating all of that and implementing it and having more self-realization, which turns into self-actualization, which turns into your soul craft, which is meditation, which turns in to the soul's journey so that the soul can become the infinity eight symbol and so that the mind, body, spirit complex can be one. And when that happens, there's something amazing that truly happens when that happens. That happens when you don't have to try to channel. You don't have to use the oracle cards. But you just know that it's truth and it's channeled intuitively and naturally and in resonance. But just have a thankful heart. Just be thankful that you're here. Be f thankful that you were averted from natural disasters. Be thankful that there were supernatural things that happened to where you could have failed you could have went down a different path, but you didn't because God loved you so much. Just tap into God's goodness. When we really tap into God's goodness and in the moment and being present and being here and being in the now, and we just realize that we have a very merciful God. God is so great. God is so good. And God is truly amazing. And you are God in human form. And you're tapping in to the effortless perfection that is the higher self. So be thankful that you're here. Be thankful how tall you are, what kind of hair color you have, because you were perfectly designed to become the architect of your life. You were perfectly designed when you were formed in your mother's womb that you were perfectly designed to be the creator being within the I am. So thank you guys. This was a quick live. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope you loved it. And I hope you share it out. And thank you guys. And God bless.